Okay, this is my second time recording this video. Um, reason being because the last attempt was literally all over the place. And I didn't feel like it was conveying the message that I wanted to convey. Now, uh, I'll go straight into it. Seniors are not being able to walk for graduation in 2020 due to COVID. And I've seen many seniors on my timeline on Facebook and on other social media complaining about this. Now, me being a person that didn't walk for graduation due to circumstances, I have to say that this is also bullshit, but that is the life we live in. There's things that are going to happen that we cannot change. Things are going to wreck the entire plans that we have, and they're going to completely wreck them. And with that being said, I'm going to go into my senior year. It's a lot to talk about. Now, we have talked about people in the past on this channel, and I'm going to try and change their names, but uh, I'm going to go by their first initial so I don't get confused because I changed their names completely, uh, and then I got super confused, and then the video went all over the place. So I'll use their first initials probably except for one. Okay, I was madly obsessed with this person named Jay. She was a complete liar, and... She led me on on her friendship for over two or three years. And uh, we talk about this on the channel. We mentioned her by name on the channel on a video that I created four months ago called I'm an Idiot. And if you want to see that video, it'll probably be linked at the end. Um, but I will not mention her in this video by name. Just so I don't get any more DMs by her. She already has... And previously tried to contact me on two different social media accounts, um, one on Instagram and one on Facebook, trying to threaten me, and I am not having it this time. My senior year consists of me trying to contact this person named Jay. Jay was this liar, uh, this person that I was madly obsessed with, um, but I I didn't know. Who I was at this time, I felt like I needed to have a partner to make myself feel whole at this time. And it was very, very strange for me at least to uh feel this way. That I didn't need to be a dad didn't need a partner to be whole. Like I never felt that way until after graduation. Going on into senior year, I made some mistakes. I tried to get a hold of or contact Jay through several means i even created a little scheme of her saying that uh through a kick profile that she was admitting to me that she wanted to kill herself and uh you know i know this sounds very bad because it was it was a terrible situation and the whole idea was it was i would expect her to come to me and say that these things weren't true and that would be a way to actually engage into a conversation with her. This has not happened because the guilt ate me alive and I told all to counselors at the school. And I realized how bad this obsession had really gone at that point. But that was okay because I was already starting to talk to other people. That pulled me away from this maddening obsession that I had. So we can go into the person eight. Person H was very strange. I talked to them for several months over, or maybe weeks, I forget, over uh, social media messaging. And uh, it was like so strange because I finally got the guts to say hi to her because I did not want things to repeat themselves with Jay. So when I went up to person eight, I said hi to them and they completely freaked out. They started, started crying. They went to the bathroom and that was the last time I saw them in person for a while. It was actually years until she met up at my house and we went on a walk and until I saw her again. But back in, back in school when she had this panic attack, um, it keyed in for the school that I was a weird person like a person I was a, like a harassing women I guess which wasn't the case I had been a little crazy with the person J but I wasn't contact them directly whenever it was attempts through second hand 
like a person would try to get a hold of them, try to get them to talk to me, and she would deny. It was stuff like that. Or sending a note to a friend, say, hey, give this to this person, they would rip it up. And that was probably the preferably thing to do at that time. Now, I'm not going to say that was the perfect person that I shouldn't be held for my actions because I should. You know, I didn't. Senior year was a very strange time for me. And I didn't know who I was. And I'd done things wrong. And for that, I am. I, I'm sorry. You know. But, you know, by the time halfway through the year passed, I was actually mostly fine um i met up with uh cameron and cameron was this amazing person at the time she she actually hugged me she told me that she loved me she said all these things to me as a friend and she made clear of that now i didn't get the right idea of this later down the line i thought she wanted more and that wasn't the case but at the time she said all these things to me and i really saw that there were other people out there um other than jay you know it died my obsession down completely and i was starting to open my eyes to new more and more people i was still talking to person age at the time you know it was just like it was very strange for me at the time um jay was becoming becoming very paranoid to me and um there would be times where complete coincidences would like harm me graduating or harm me being able to be able to walk for graduation um for example like a bunch of like sophomores juniors were taking up our table at lunch so we decided to move to the round table oh lo and behold jay's table is right next to us somehow i didn't know how that happened i didn't pick the table at all I was there first, but I was like, okay, what's which table we're gonna go at? And I was there with Peyton and some other friends and they said this one, so we chose that one, and lo and behold, Jay's table was literally right next to us, making tensions very high at the time. So, um there was stuff like that and there there was the last straw that actually happened. I was walking down the hallway um, going to my class in one morning and we all know Lawrence Lawrence was very fucking annoying in high school and I still believe he's very fucking annoying um, So I decided to take a different route so I wouldn't run into Lawrence Well, lo and behold Jay was walking down the hallway in front of me about a good hundred to hundred and fifty feet away um, She turned around saw me and she bolted out some back doors in the school and I saw her completely having a panic attack so I decided just to go to my class and this worried me so I started pacing I alarmed my teacher um, and I told her about what was going on and the next day I had to go to Hope like there was no defensive action I could have done they were trying to get me to Hope for a while and I told them no. I said no. I don't want to. I want to be able because I know if I go to Hope, there would be a way for, to make them not give me my pure graduation. To be a way for not letting me go to prom, and now it's another big deal to me is to going to prom. Stuff like that was very important to me. Now, um, I had no say to going to Hope this time. They said you're going to Hope, and there's nothing you can do about it. It was just, it was just bullshit. It, it sucked really bad. I knew it was going to go to prom because you had to be on main campus to go to prom or at least that's what I heard of. I, I had no understanding of what was going on at the time. It happened so fast. I had no say in it and in, uh, inevitably I was taken out of school and put in the hope next week. They told me this is what you're going to do. You're going to work from home so you don't have to go to the freshman building to go to the classes. You can do everything at home. And I saw an opportunity to completely fuck the system. I decided to stay up for 24 hours and complete all of my semester courses. All of them in 24 hours. And I was taking the exam the week after. I literally did probably 28 hours of work in two days it was super easy 
do I retain any of the information I learned during that process? No, because online schooling doesn't fucking work. Okay? It doesn't fucking work. It's so fucking stupid that people are trying to push for online schooling. It just doesn't work. I don't remember anything that I've learned for my government class. I don't remember. In fact, I don't remember anything I've learned in high school. So schooling itself doesn't fucking work. I finished Hope. I finished graduation. All I got was a stupid fucking medal for it. And I never saw my diploma. Now, I remember asking my mother, hey, am I still able to go to prom? And she called one of the administrators and they said no. Um, now, I'm not going to call out these administrators, but they're cocksuckers and they fucking don't realize how important it was to me to go to prom. But they said no. You know, I went to homecoming to find out how prom would have been like you could say those things are completely different on the spectrum but whatever knowing that i couldn't go to prom was very hurtful to me because i know that jay wasn't going to go to prom they saw me as a danger they literally told me that i they saw me as a danger that hurt a lot you know i didn't hurt anyone i didn't stalk anyone even though that was a popular claim, and still is a popular claim, even though I'm minding my own fucking business. I don't know. It was it was very strange at the time. Now, going on into, going on nearing May, where people are going to walk for graduation, I started releasing more music at this time. The Hamilton finale. It used to be named the Hamilton High finale until they said I couldn't use the school name, even though it's a public school as the name for the album i just named it the hamilton finale because i don't think the city would get mad for me naming the album after the city so i that's what i named it and there was this one song called final effort that mentioned me hypothetically overdosing on stage because i didn't want to lose all my high school friends or something like that it's been a while since i heard the song and wrote it they they saw that as something i was actually going to do they said i wasn't not only that i wasn't going to walk for graduation they said that i was going to go to uh get hospitalized for suicidal thoughts now if you know anything about music people make sad music all the fucking time music is up into interpretation and whatever you may feel it is it may not be the right thing that you're feeling i didn't i didn't get to walk because i was hospitalized now i did get out of hospitalization by the time graduation happened but i still wasn't able to walk i remember being home and my mom asked me how i was feeling i was like i'm okay I'm fine when really i wasn't i was really struggling with the fact that everyone's getting to walk and everyone's having fun you know actually graduating and i was sitting there at home you know i graduated technically back in march way before these people and i still don't get to walk so that is the main thing we are talking about is not being able to walk and it's complete utter bullshit with senior year mean a thing of the past for me but just a ending thing for most people right now I, I just have to let you understand, it's not, you may regret it, you know, that you di didn't get to walk. It's not your fault. You know, COVID is something that we couldn't control. This was something that I couldn't control as well. It was something out of my decision, out of my footholds, whatever you want to call it. It was out of my power. What I want you to get from this is not to attack these people that made the situation worse for me not to attack the school district that decided to do this to me because i did have some bitter feelings against the school district for a while not not even towards the person i was madly obsessed with either like they they are completely fine i haven't contacted them they tried to contact me recently and i've, com and I've completely blown them off i don't want to keep you for too long thank you for listening to rant about this I'll see you Marines and Spartans on the next mission. Reaming out. Bye bye.